welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. The Atlanta Braves going up against the New York Mets. First Ladies pitch coming at you right after the break. Your New York Mets. Isan Diaz up to hit now. That is cool. The second baseman, Isan Diaz. Now the 0-1. Ground ball right side could be two. They get one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. On to the bottom of the first. It's the Braves one and the Mets nothing. Steve Rogers digs in now. Two go, hits in the game Thank last you. night. Pretty That's amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're hey, talking your pitch, about someone pitch, that can steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Get a good rip on it, huh? On the ground. And that's a base hit. And that extends the inning. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way cool. easier than it is, Boo. Setting the record is hard at all, but to keep upping it every Good day like that. he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. And now the DH, Heston Kerstad. And a pitch. There's a strike when you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well look out because the sky's the limit on that potential All right, come on now what time let it fly here's a one two <laughs> alright one time right here Runner. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. There's a ball. Safe at second, and that was not close. Looks like they're trying to answer back on that run they gave up in the top of the first by being aggressive on the base paths. I like that, especially early in this ball game. Be aggressive while you can and see if it leads to some type of big inning. Rogers on its second with two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that's the inning. Mets leave one, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Steve Rogers, the next to hit. Great now speed bad. and great that's power. A great athlete, Steve, quite simply. Right He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball. He can do it and get it done. Go, go, now this go, ball is go, well go. hit. This one's got a chance. Pulls it in on the warning track. We play two full. It's the Mets five and the Braves one. Get your pitch Ready to go right for the last half of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Steve Rogers. Singy, he's a guy back. that covers both sides That's of the plate job. about as well as anyone in the sport. How Not difficult good. is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubble gum card. You'll see how. On, this one swung on here. and hit well. Way back there. And it's gone. Home run. He crushes that one to center field. His seventh home run of the season. It's 7-4. The pitcher knew as soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. Sorry, but big league hitters don't miss that pitch. First and second, one out. Stepping in, the sluggy yeah, shortstop, that. Steve Rogers. Steve. He's not going to get cheated up Roger. there. No, he's not. 
He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Hammered on a line at a left base hit. Hernandez around third. One run in. Here comes another. Throw and it gets away. In to score from first. It's 10-4. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. for the Braves Matt Manning a runner on second to deal with he'll do his best to keep him there well, at this point of the ball game we're talking about middle innings and he made a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen we'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper Rogers leads off second with one gone in the inning And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. Next offering is foul back. Hey, like the up there, huh? That one pulled foul. These two guys, a lot of respect for one another. Still only one out here in the inning. Next right, offering down. way off the plate. The pitch. And it's filled up. Hey, you can't find it. Be patient, huh? They can come to you. Right-handed reliever. Now a screamer into the outfield. Can't get there. Base hit. Harris fires it in quickly. That holds the lead runner. And now they've got two in scored position. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there. And he's rewarded with the double. So one out with two aboard. Now, Gabriel Moreno. Now batting. Catcher. And he deals. Gabriel. Swing and a miss, oh, and he no. struck him out. Two out. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone, and for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch First out of the hand, game. not tracking it into the zone, and then Run, also being out. a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Left hand batter waits. Oh, and now two and one. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Next pitch inside. And a full count now. Second and third, two down. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Hey, come on now. One time, right here. Stays alive. Hey, wait for yours here. And the right hander deals, and oh, that'll boy. load the bases. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. So two down. Now the third baseman, Zach Geloff. Hey, get your pitch. Stay through it. Let's go. Let's drive it. Swing and a base hit. Play it home. He's safe. And they're pulling away up by seven now. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay.
bottom of the inning. Now it's going to be Steve Rogers. Right, on, now, go. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on Not the brink of one of your favorite Steve. milestones. He's completed Roger. three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. That to right. Matias should have this one. Makes the grab. One up, one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Up next for the Mets, the designated hitter. Testing. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. Guys are making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps 